statement, Disney says this seems to be a blatant attempt by a lawyer to generate publicity for a case that has no merit. Welcome to Jumping in the Turnstile. I'm Jez Mont. I'm Demi Tarko. And yes, it's been a bit of a hiatus. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that, listeners. Hiatus. Hiatus. Uh, Coyote. Coyote lockdown. Mm. Six. Oh, but we're the f- unlocking. Yeah, the unlocking. The unlocking. We're free now, apparently. <laughs> Is it? Mm. Is it? Yeah. But not till not till uh, Friday or Saturday. Oh, look. Depending on um, depending on uptake. We're free as birds. And speaking of birds, uh, yes. I've got a new bird cage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I, I, uh, I had five birds. Yeah. Oh, this is this the bird report? Bird report. <laughs> the uh, the bird report. <laughs> the the chicks have flown the coop. Is it? Yeah. They, uh, is that what those photos were? I thought yeah. they were just random bird flying photos. bird photos. No, they were like, are. look at the birds flying around my backyard. Yeah. It was like, great. Well, there were five eggs, three survived. Uh, they flew the coop. Yep. Uh, they got separated, actually. Which, uh, so what? So 80% survived and uh, 20% you died off? You do the math. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. You it checks math. out in nature. Yeah, so like I had to go down the sideway to get something, and that's mm. where the nest was, and so... Yeah. I didn't realise they were going to fly the coop that day, yeah. but I uh, obviously scared them. And one little bird I went out the front, and two birdos went out the back. Right. So the two made their way to the lemon tree. Yep. Got nice and safe overnight. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the other one was out the front. He's dead. No. Well. No. <laughs> well, I ushered him. I got him around the next day to get out the back again, down right. the, down the sideway. Come on, mate, get up there. Right. Did you um, touch him. Didn't touch him. Okay. And then as soon as they were all together. I think they went, right, now let's bail. And then, oh, they, okay. then they were just gone. And then the next night, we had those, uh, those uh, that weather storm. Oh, a terrible, the, terrible, 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 terrible storm. storm. <laughs> it was full on. It was it's carnage fun. out there. It was. Most of Victoria doesn't have power. We'll get into that. All right. Yeah, I think that's, that's worthy. Is that of, the weather? That's the weather <laughs> report. Weather, weather report. Awesome. So they flew the coup. Yeah. So that's it. Success. So you, did did, so you didn't move them, you didn't touch the eggs. Didn't touch them. Or did you touch two of the eggs? That's my question. No, no, no. I only touched my two eggs. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the only <laughs> the eggs only I'm eggs. willing to touch. Yeah, right. Poached, boiled, or... <laughs> uh, Scrambled. <laughs> Scrambled. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you been doing your time off since we've been recording uh, I have mostly been... Um, I, I, I'm, trying to get, I'm trying to get my cars back to when I got them. A showroom... Uh, yeah, because like, I, I wanted to... like. You, you, there's detailing and I went down the road um, not too long ago to see if I could get me buddy just me front seats rubber dubbed mm. right thanks for the scrub and I went down there got a quote from the boys yeah and they said 90 bucks per seat okay <laughs> and I went oh, alright boys seat covers yeah I'll go and buy a vacuum cleaner and just do it myself yeah so I got me seat covers right and um, then I had to bring the car back up to seat cover level. You know what I mean? Mm, so mm. bring it back. You can't have really nice um, nice seat covers. Can I have a trash you, car. Can I ask you, how many hair ties did you find? And your, uh, the value yeah, Probably about four, four hair ties, about um, $6.80. Six bucks. Five good, cent, ten cent good, pieces. Good, good, good. Um, crumbs. A lot of crumbs. Lots like. of crumbs. Uh, we, had, we had a chip bag incident. Mm. Where the last, you know, so like instead of pouring the chips, the little scraps into your hand, mm. um, it's empty, it's empty, it's empty. All right, yeah, cool. And I turned the thing upside down and it was, it still had scrappers <laughs> and they went fucking everywhere. So, yeah. <coughs> I, I usually shot my, the end of the packet. Like, I don't pour, pour it into my hand like you suggested. I just go you straight just, to You just gold. straight pour, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> salt injection. <laughs> it is, it's all the flavors. But I always do the, um, whenever I'm cleaning the car and giving it really close back, getting down there and yeah. really, really sucking, sucking on it, right? It'll all scrape out. Yeah. I always think that's the hair that I'm going to get caught for the murder for. You know, you see the hair and you go, oh, they had one single cat hair and they traced it oh, back to the house Because you cat. watch all those bloody... And then we knew, we knew the murder was there right. because we also found a cat hair on the dead body. Right. So have you murdered anyone? Just as a question. No, but I do. I clean, you clean, I like clean CSI. forensically. Yeah. Right? Is, so, wait, what do you do with the inside of the vacuum cleaner, though? Oh, you got, you got to dispose of that thoughtfully. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't think of that one. Mm. Didn't think that through. Because they they, that's one of the first places they hit, isn't yeah, it? The vacuum, bin? Vacuum, yeah. Vacuum in the bin. Yeah. 
Mm. And then they check the pipes for uh, blood splatterings. Just nah, case. they do that with the old... Oh, the UVs. The cum light. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, what is it? Gordon UV. Ramsay cum light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How to get on the roof? Come on. <laughs> detail and detail and detail. No, no, um, no special surprises or anything like that. But I just, it, it is very, very fucking hard mm. to get it to selling in a um, in showroom, a showroom mm. car st- status. I don't know how they do it. It's a skill. It is a dark art. <laughs> it is. Do you think there's a tool or something that you, they're using? <sighs> that- I think because this here's here's the rub. Rubber dub dub. Rubber dub dub. That's yeah. the name of the place he took it to. <laughs> <laughs> Rubber yeah. dub dub. Cha ching. I think they've got in brackets because oh, yeah. they're cashing in on um yeah you know, ninety bucks per seat. Oh yeah. Well, one hundred and eighty dollars for me two front seats. Mm. Should, anyway, yeah, go on. Anyway, so detailing away. I reckon they've got. They must have some anti-static grabber, right, of some sort. Mm. It's not just a rag. It's a uh, magnet, static magnet. I don't know because because when we got the car, like zero dust, zero. Like because I really looked at it, mm. really looked at it. Is this car being used? Who used it? Have mm. they got a cat? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, one, two, three. The three, the three um, rules of buying a car. Oh, that's what they say. <laughs> the most important rules. Yeah. Then color. Then um, mm. then you kick style. the tires. Make sure kick the got tires. Got tire tire uh, pressure. Kick, kickability. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, but you can never. You can just. You just can't get it all up. And this is why people that that bring the bodies into their cars. This is why they're getting caught. Right. Because there is fucking no way. That you could clear your DNA out of that car. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. And the people that are bleeding on carpet and they get the carpet replaced, and then mm-hmm. before you know it, they 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 find a receipt for carpet, and then they go back to the carpet maker and they're yeah. like, "Yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, sorry, we came in here saying saying something something about blood." <laughs> <laughs> so we gave him fresh carpet. I was uh, listening to a podcast, a crime podcast, mm. uh, and they got it's a original. guy. They got a guy like that uh, through the. Ready mix the the mini mix uh, bags of concrete you get from Barnards. Okay. Yeah, they traced like they found this uh, traces of powder. Well, they found a body part encased in this concrete. Uh, yeah, because instead of a, he dumped it in a dam rather than an actual river system. Like so, mm-hmm. or like anyway. So the, the the dam goes up and down. So he's dumped all these body parts, and then within seven days the dam drops, and they found it. Uh, and they were mean- able to trace the concrete. Back to the supplier. Oh, so you, you can't do it. You can't cash. get away with it. So you know, are they going to be able to link concrete shoes back to the mob? Probably. Mm. Mm. But uh, quick, quick, quick. So, so science question about the body parts in the concrete. Yeah. Perfectly preserved. Yeah. Or mummified, or yeah, rotten you, within. It's stupid. It's, it's a sin stupid within. Way, stupid way to do it. Well, I, this is what this is the way I think about wrapping the body in plastic and dumping it in a hole. You know, they wrap it up mm. and then they get rid of the body. Mm. But the plastic's gonna like hold the DNA right in for there. at least the half life of five hundred years. Yeah. Well, the, the guy that they found at the uh, end of my street in that factory. Yeah, in the barrel. In the barrel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He'd been in there for quite some time. And all I had to do was just go. Oh, that's it's Darren. Gary. <laughs> Gary Darrell. Yeah, and they found him. Yeah. He was in a bin. Yeah. No, but they found out who it was. Just of course they the did. Because because you put it in a well-preserved encased. It's a time capsule. Yeah. And as they always say, no body, no charges. Oh, that's there's, it. There's no murder. No body, no charge. Mm. Um, no win, no pay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same deal. It's a big thing for me. <laughs> it's a big deal. Uh, yeah. But if, so, so you're encasing this. You, anyway, you're getting rid of bodies and you're putting it in the car, and the car needs detailing. Mm. I clean the car. Good. So right? that was. <laughs> yeah, but I but I do think that every time I'm thinking I've got to get every little scrap of dapper doodle. So mm. I, like I did the old, get the vacuum at the end and scrape a scrape a thing along the edges to mm. push it into the vacuum. I did. I, I tried everything. My most detailing like. I'm the guy that, that's getting this job and I've got to impress me. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's the best way to do it because yeah. you're only fooling yourself by not cleaning it properly. Well, that's it. And and to be honest, um, it was three three trips back to the VAC mm. where where I'd, I'd gone, that's it, can't do it anymore. And then I've gone, oh, no, nah, there's, there's a, a spot. Whole, this yeah. is, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. 
And then as you're doing the windows, the the light changes, the sun yes. hits, it, hits it in a different way. And you go, like, oh, I thought this windows was Windows hard. It's hard work. You're always smudging. Mm, you anyway. see, oh, it's, you're pushing around. You, I don't know. If anyone knows the best way to clean a car window, because I thought there, were, there was a spray that stops stops it clouding up from the inside, stops it from steaming. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Uh, Mr. Demister. It was Is a, it? was a product <laughs> when I was first got me Commodore, and the, the uh, windows would inevitably fog up from all the uh, heavy petting I was doing in the Mr. back seat. Mr. Demister. Demist. And you can put it on your ski goggles as well. The demist fist, right? Okay. So it's a bottle. Yeah. With a big fist is the spray thing, <laughs> and, and you, you use it. that, and you and you and you have to pump it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you put it on the other squirter, and you have to pump it Dutch rider style. Oh yeah, <laughs> like you're milking a milking a cow. <laughs> yeah, and that cleans your windows. It's the uh, Mister Mister Fisted de Mister. <laughs> <laughs> but that 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 brings me back to like uh, the other products we were talking about the other night. Oh, things yeah. that we should do. Like we wanted to start a fence business, business for example. Mm. And I was suggesting that we call it a fencing material. Yeah? Yeah. It's it's, yeah. it's not bad. I mean, we can workshop it. We can. We'll go workshop it. Ah, uh, look, I mean, Jesus. Is that going to work well for the business, though, of a fencing material? I'll tell you what. We do need to start a fencing company right now from all those fences that are open. Oh, because yeah, you, you yeah, you're talking back to the Stormo, yeah. Yeah, massive And storm. we got we got the report in from uh, Shaunos, who's mm. driving around saying, oh, mate, it's a war zone down here. It's, it's carnage. Like, it's carnage. We could could play the clip, I guess. But um, he was he was saying that uh, the trees are falling everywhere. Mm. No buses running, no trains running. No. No people around, no SES cutting up trees. No. They were fucking... By themselves, that was there, was, it. there was no uh, police manning the um, the traffic lights. So, what about this for a future prediction? That uh, the weather, <clears throat> the storm was caused by some mystical forces, right? Yeah. <laughs> In order to uh, generate uh, to stimulate the economy. Oh, I see. So you get yeah, the SES, you those, get all the emergency yeah, services yeah. out there get, getting, you know, cutting up sticks and. Saving people's lives, and everybody's happy. We're all free. Yeah, you know what I mean. Business as usual. Back to it. Nature can't beat nature. Oh. Well, I mean, you can beat nature. Can you? Like one one way because we always talk about the uh, bus stops that uh, always smash the glass bus oh, yeah, stops, yeah, 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 and yeah. we all you know it's. Uh, uh, Bevan, the son of the uh, glazier. Gla- glazier, that's exactly right. <laughs> he goes around with these smashing them up, smashing them up. Now, yeah. did you see this one? Bloody lunatic uh, went on a rampage in Melbourne, uh, smashing up this guy's gyms. He's got three locations. Yeah, I did hear something about yeah, it. So he smashed yeah. 700 mirrors. Right. 700. That's bad luck. It's, and, uh, Jews, what a, what a rage. If you did 700 like arm movements with a hammer. Well, you think about this. Back to the murder thing. He stabbed her 75 times. It's like, that's a lot of work. Mm. One does it. Yeah. One doesn't usually. If but, you know, um, what you, if you know what you're doing, if you really want to make a statement, you go seven hundred mirrors. To mirrors, <laughs> yeah. And he's smashed that? up. Who the... is this guy? Well, he Do was you know? he was wearing the uh, uniform glazier t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> mirrors are us. <laughs> yeah. Bevan's glazing. <laughs> Look in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, that's, uh, the, that's the slogan. He breaks in. He's wearing the gym uniform. Goes straight into the uh, office where the security cameras is. Disconnects the security cameras. Okay, so who works there? Well, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd he get the shirt? I don't, I don't, I don't know. But that's 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 the thing that you do. When, when you were tell you're talking about um your strategy for Robert Bank mm. and it's full mask, full um you wear uh, high heels, mm. you get big ears, big earlobes, <laughs> right? Yeah. Fake earlobes. And a fake tattoo that just creeps above your shirt. Yeah, collar, you can't so. quite see it, but you can make out it's a dragon. Yeah. Or or a um a or, very specific or a red dragon. Something that's really unique. <laughs> okay, yeah. And yeah. so they go, he was trying to cover it up, but I saw the tip of this uh dragon's, dragon's tail. tail. Yeah. And this is how you're gonna get him Sarge. Yeah, we got him Sarge. But you just go straight out and you just rip it off your neck and Yeah, yeah, it's those tattoo. you know, those he's, he had a full arm sleeve tattoos. Mm. Mm. But it's those that stocking thing. Remember, for a while there, they did that product where you can slip a stocking oh, up your yeah, arm and, and it looks a like full a tattoo. Slip to that. And then you try and cover it up. I'd do the uh, distinct I, wristwatch. I'd do the uh, Harrison Ford style, uh, the man with one arm. 
that tried to, to kill his wife. You remember that one? You've seen that one? Give us a ca- recap. Well, you know, there's a struggle. His wife dies, and he pieces together that this there was a man with one arm. Oh, and right. he had he had the uh, prosthetic arm. That's how he chased him down. Gotcha. Went into the hospitals, checked it out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that'd be a good one. So you you tuck your arm into your shirt. Yeah. You hit. You're hiding your real arm. Yeah. But then you have a fake arm. So it looks like it's like oh, this guy, his left arm is gone. Yep. It's um. It'd be, prosthetic. It's, it'd be quite easy, wouldn't it? Or you don't. You, you got to do it it's subtly. You don't do too many. Don't do the arms, the lobes, the nose, mm. the moustache. Let's not rob any banks, though. No, no, no. no. This is hyper, it's purely hypothetical, <laughs> right? <laughs> purely hypothetical. It's a good option, though. Um, and, yeah, you full disguise, though. Mm. And then you do a um, size of cose. Oh. And as you're walking out with your limb, then you stroll down the street, you take Straighten off your disguise, up. and then you Clark Kent again. Spoilers for Come, un- or or you or you you get changed into a suit and tie and and, and everything and go straight back into the bank like you're a customer. Yeah, because why would you go back? Yeah, can I cash this check? Uh, yeah, I'm Monk to Willie de Honk, and I'm here to invest this money which he just stole off him. Uh-huh. You see? puts it straight back in the bank. Right. Yeah. So when they they're not going to look in the bank for the money that was stolen from the bank, are they? That's the, yeah. You've got a plot. <laughs> <laughs> Off my plot. Yeah. Um, but um, write up a draft tonight. <laughs> yeah, we could, we could. But that's that is how you rob a bank. <laughs> now, <laughs> how to clean a car? <laughs> well, we did the car. Good, good. <laughs> yep, yep. I- I'm pretty happy with the results. Mm. Inside, outside, USA. Mm. Uh, the old um, spare tires flat. Got to get a new spare tire, but I don't know how you go doing spare tires with online shopping because if you can't physically go in there and say give me a K2125 yeah. I don't know what it is and it had a nail in it so it's one of those like could be easily replaced the tread's fine mm. just the tyres it's just a re- refit I think you just go but I don't know how you do it tyre place and they yeah, replace but I thought, it I thought they were like you can't come in here with that face <laughs> do you know how right. people are these days yeah. look at him He's got a face. Yeah. It's kind of weird in Melbourne now, isn't it? It is. It's a strange thing to behold. Mm. It's a strange thing. But um, should I pitch a few more business ideas? I think so. Uh, What about uh, the Prince of Persia rugs? Oh, yeah. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) It's not bad. It's not bad. (laughs) It's uh, the business is uh, it's multi-leveled. And mm. you've got to climb down, you've got to hit you got to hit the price thing over there and run over to the other side to see what the price is before it turns off. Things like that. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and there's uh secret panels behind certain persons. Yeah, rugs. you just gotta yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Um, so it's an adventure while you're deciding your rug, because it's a big purchase for every, any family, really. It is, isn't it? A mm. rug. A rug. Yeah, a we Persian can't rug. have rugs at my house. No? No. What happens? Well, when the dogs get their zoomers at night, you know, when dogs just get excited and they run around for yeah. 15 minutes or yeah. whatever, um, they use the rug as their turning point. Oh, and so yeah. it gets so crinkled up, it's getting boxed yeah. up. And then be, if there's lightning or whatnot like there was the other night... They'll gnash into it and scratch it. They'll piss on it. it. Oh, okay. Because they don't want to go outside. Piss, eh? So yeah. it becomes a piss rug. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Pissian rug. A pissian rug. <laughs> yeah. Write that one um, down. Then... The other pitch is we could, uh, you're saying potato economy, but maybe it's a garlic economy. Mm. And we could do a... Um, How many serious... garlic cloves per potato? Is it a one for one don't know, economy? I don't know what the um, ratio is. I think garlic has we'll more value. We'll have to look at the data. You reckon? There's more, there's more punch. Well, it's like uh, the ancient, um, ancient, but the old school... Uh, Trading mm. and it used to be sugars and spice and everything nice, yeah, sure right? It was and the, and it wasn't it wasn't cash society. It really was based on a potato economy, a spice economy, a turmeric. Yep. You've got your. Um, I'll give you a gram of turmeric for your powder uh, potatoes. Powder powder parsley. That's yeah. it. Um, so if we did a business where we were, we got every type of garlic there was. Okay. Right. Every one of them. All right? the brands. All of them, and you and you um you put them in. 
together. I don't know if this is like the, the name of one of our products, mm. but you, where you put all the garlics together in one pack, they're, they're all in there. Okay. Right? And and you call it Garlics of the Galaxy. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. This is yeah. this is right. I like this. Uh so you go to you go to Brazil, you get some uh, garlic from there. Yeah. You go to Amer- the Americas. Yeah, you, you grow it on um, you grow it on Mars. It's the first mm. thing we grow on Mars. Can you get so a it's garlic? It's literally garlic of the galaxy. To the galaxy. Mm. Very expensive though. <laughs> that one is. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's a bit pricey. A Mars clove. Yeah, is yeah. quite expensive. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> one clove from Mars is about ten G. Well, I think the potato. Economy is leading the game on the Mars thing because they've already done that movie, The Marsh. Uh, yeah, where he uses his shit for shit fertilizer. And piss. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of shit and piss. Um, they don't necessarily reveal how he generates the shit because mm, he's, he's not eating. He's, he's, very he's running well. out of food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, an old, old dust diet. <laughs> my favorite line from that movie is, "I'm gonna science the shit out of this." Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you can put a clip in there, Tim. <laughs> Maybe. I'm going to have to science the shit out of this. We, are we getting any reports from Mars? What, like, what's going on up there? We're just still roving mm. about. We're roving about, yeah. yeah. I think the Chinese got up there. Did they? I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I was questioning a, yeah. that footage because they had the footage of their craft landing. So, yeah. Uh, so, are saw- they the th- are they, by the time they land, are they the third success... Successful yeah, land on right. Mars because they got to land the camera first. Land, land the camera. So first. that's a success. That, yeah, and that gets set up, and then <laughs> it. <laughs> you, then you land your second spacecraft all yeah. the way from uh, from uh, China yeah. all the way to Mars and yeah. land it exactly next to the camera and get the perfect camera shot. Perfect shot as, as, as it's coming down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that checks out. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but are they roving? Do they go in a different direction? Like, can we join our maps? Uh, You'd hope so. Do you think? Um, do you think if you're? I don't. Think I know sh- that they're, they're not really into sharing information over there at the moment. Nah, nah, not really. They keep it to themselves, pretty much. Yeah, right. They just keep it to themselves. Um, so, if you're a discoverer, like you're the, um, you're the ancient, well, not ancient, but um, old school, uh, Captain Cook or Captain Cooks, yeah. yeah. Um, they, um, do they stake claim to any land that they see through their little peepers when they're going, they're, like they're making maps. If mm. they discover a land, do they go, that's my, that's I, my I've land. seen it. It's yeah, mine. It's mine. Yeah. That's for the yeah. queen. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That's Queen's country. He draws right it out. There. So the same thing with the rovers. If, if they, if they're oh, yeah. exploring, do they own that That path? track, yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Anything that the, uh, the rover can observe is now... So it's like, um, it really is like, uh, what's the game? The Orcs. My, yes, my liege. Ah, uh, yeah. World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. And there's that fog. And then, yeah. And, and then, then as they go, they reveal oh, yeah. the patch. Yeah. And you own that patch. That's right. You can mine it. Cut, cut trees. trees down. <laughs> make fort. Make farms. <laughs> yes. Yes, my liege. I love that. Uh, that game is actually quite good. Yeah, the old school World of Warcraft. Too. Yeah, yeah, PC version. PC one. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, I um, I'm at the end of me um tether. Nah, Tony Hawk. Oh, you still game. going? Yeah, no, I'm at ninety seven percent six uh completed. Yeah, I, I've uh, had a good crack at the old uh, Tiger Woods. I'm almost. Oh finished yeah. that one as well. I'm oh, yeah, you almost got your green almost jacket. Got, okay, almost. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, right. Yeah, haven't been doing too much, to be honest, uh, with my spare time. Um, <laughs> Why? Well, I've just been getting ready for me roofers who are at my house oh, right oh, now. I'm getting my new gutters, my fascias, my ewes. My These ewes. are the roofers who were watching the other week through your doorbell camera. Oh, yeah, no, that was the <laughs> asbestos remover. And he was, uh, I thought that was pretty dangerous asbestos. That's why I've chosen to get rid of it. Yeah. And uh, this guy, like, I'm watching him through my ring camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're smoking darts. They're, they, like, no when, mask. He was, I saw... He was not wearing a mask. He was wearing a singlet, actually. And, and Safety he was, singlet. He had a sweaty face, and so he just gets his T-shirt and just wipes his face with... He did, with the asbestos... Like asbestos rag he's yeah. wearing. I thought, juice. That's a bit... I would be a bit more paranoid about it. I reckon I would be too. Mm. At least a mask. It is a pandemic. 
you know. An asbestos pandemic. <laughs> well, it it's actually everywhere. is. It, it is, is fucking everywhere. It is. Then he who's also, he, yeah, he did, he's got like that, so I had to be around for that. And I was like, I had to be around for when the guys are cleaning my roof. Mm. And, you know, so I've just been sticking around at home. Haven't been doing too much. Bit of work. Sticky perkin. Here and there, but. <laughs> yeah. you got to watch these dudes. Like, he had his, um, the apprentice had his gigantic pressure washer. Oh, like yeah. Like, di- diesel powered. Yeah, yeah. And it was. Uh, its the, own trailer. Oh, man, it was hi- high end. Yeah. And so they, they're cleaning up and there was shit everywhere. So I'm starting to clean out the back and then he's moving out to the front and I see him, he's on, he's on the ground now. He's finished cleaning the roof and he's just yeah. about to clean up everything for me. Yeah. But this, this gurney he had, the pressure washer, it was going to, he was just about to turn around and clean my plants, I think. And it would have like <laughs> cut it like a laser. <laughs> So I run out there and go, do, 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 no, 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 I'll, I'll clean up, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's my regular hose pressure. Fucking hell, man. Even hose pressure can be a bit, um, can be, uh, can be a bit destructive. Yeah, it can be. And, and you, you're, you just, you're just flowering as well. Oh, man, flowers are everywhere. And those delicate, delicate, uh, mossy, um, Ground coverage that yeah. you got in between all the rocks there. Yeah. I really dig that stuff. What's it called? Uh, like Harry's hair or something? Flora. Okay, yeah, right. so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> what's his common um what's his common street name though? Uh Cushion Bush. Cushion Bush. Yeah. 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 Uh more cushion for the pushing. <laughs> More cushion for your bush. Yeah, I, but I was a bit disappointed. I did, had to call him up and uh, say, mate, take, why are they, why are they tight? When are you coming back? Okay, so he's the way. So he's spraying the roof cleano. So, so it's the be apprentice high cleans, apprentice cleans, and, and then, then so you're saying he's going to spray. He's going to spray you. So there's shit everywhere. Is what you're saying? Well, when the boys, the older two, came back, they were starting to replace some tiles. Okay, right? and so they're just throwing the old tiles down on the grass. Yeah. And they're exploding and then just going everywhere. And ch- chipping in, making chipping divots. Chipping in, like... Because you know how hard it is to do grass. Oh, my God. And, and and that particular grass you've got, if you cover... If you put, like, a sack of um, mulch on top of it just for the night, yeah, it's, it's going to change colour. It does. Yeah. So they went and bought 100, 100 new old tiles and he was going to clean them up. So we laid them all out in the grass and, and then all. and then he's got his, got his laser cutter. His laser cutter. <laughs> and yeah, they, they clean the tiles all right, but also clean the, a grass square around each. Ah, oh, so you got, I've got you this got checker grid. panel <laughs> all over me front lawn. So it's, uh, you know, what do you do? you got to watch people. Yeah. So did he, he didn't hit, he didn't hit your beautiful fence though. Well, I called him up. I was like, I came home, and the tiles are still the tiles are still on the grass. There's mm. tiles everywhere, and I called him up and said, "Mate, are you coming back? Because there's fucking tiles everywhere." Yeah. He said, I'll see you on Monday. This is Friday. Ah. I'm like, mate, I've got dogs, and I've got to go outside. I mean, yeah, that's my only patch. Cleaned it all up. Ah, oh, right. Yep. So, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'll, when I get home, I just hope that there's all well, my garden's still there. Yeah, that's yeah, good point. I did I did notice on the um on the ring cam that yeah, he was resting his fucking ladder up against your bamboozo. Bamboozo. Right. I mean it's tough stuff. I almost got in the car and you, yeah, dra- yeah, yeah, you did say <laughs> the bamboozos. I do remember that. Um fascinating. Fasc- fascinating. Um let's let's um let's cut to a, a new ad. All right. Shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, an yeah. ad for a movie coming up because everybody's watching their bloody Netflix and everything at the moment. And, and uh, This is a recommendation. This is a recommendation coming up right now. Here we go. All right. Exciting. That's, that's... Titcon Productions presents A man locked away for his service to his country. Neptune Credence is Burn It Tight Fist. You can't lock a good man down. You know I gotta do a tight fist. I gotta lock you down. Oh, lock down. No! No! Dude, what the hell? No! Get the chip. Zoom in. Back for another kick-ass adventure. That last stunt you pulled out there, tight fist, cost this city thousands. I'm locking you down. You gave me that mission. Be a man and take the fall for your country. You're losing your grip, tight fist. I won't take the fall. <laughs> An award-winning performance from Neptune Credence. Oh, we've been locked down in this jungle prison for more than 16 months. Do you think my wife will remember me? She's dead, isn't she? No! No! Academy Award nominee, 
Neptune Credence is Bernard Typhus. You can't lock a good man down. 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 No, you can't, can you? I can't wait to see that at the theatre. <laughs> oh, it's been out for years. Has it? <laughs> it came out in 1972. Tight fist. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought we'd go back to an old uh, old favourite. Yeah, we gotta talk about the uh, clumsy crooks. Oh yeah, st- yeah, stupid crooks. And yeah, whatever. Right. I like this one, Jackson Jacksonville, Florida. Mm. Uh, this guy, Breon Hollings, started a Facebook live stream to show off all his drug money, as you do. Mm. Uh, what he didn't expect was the police were already outside with the search warrant. Uh, and then they can't. They obviously uh, capped so, him, <laughs> yes. bashed him to death. But let's uh, let's see what the intelligence level of this guy is. Let's okay, see. yeah, obviously cool. it's not a great idea right. bragging about your crimes. But let's see. Man. <laughs> you get the idea. Let's, yeah, let's, okay. Let's, he says man a lot. You know, he just says man a lot. Let's see when the cops come in. Okay. Is this, he's doing a live stream, was he? Oops. Bit, bit of noise, bit of kerfuffle. Man. <laughs> Man. Oh man! <laughs> okay. There's a bit of bit of uh, bit of mess. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Let's see. Hold on, Timmy. They got him, Sarge. So they're just outside watching his stream. I think they were. There's a spot of luck that they were already there. Yeah, so they're in there. <laughs> <laughs> Get him. How do you, uh, you need a good lawyer for that. Oh, yeah, you need a good one. Better get your lawyer, son. (laughs) (laughs) It's going to be a real good one. I like this one as well. Drunk airline passenger booted from flight for twerking and flashing entire cabin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What a show. Dinner and a show. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty shit dinner. Uh, Uh, Pretty average show. No, that's a pretty good show. What what do you do to a twerker? He's going, eh, eh. It's like, I'm Mr. Burns. Blah, blah, blah. It's like that. Where they're twerking and, and a lot of people are going, yeah. But what do you do? Do you spear tackle? You spear somebody? tackle. Stop yeah. the twerking. Yeah. yeah not, was... You got to get it. That's an accurate spear tackle in a um, plane plane lane. Mm. And then what do you do? You've got to land that plane straight away or they just kick her out. Throw oh, out the vacuum. Okay. So this one, uh, she's she was causing commotion after the flight attendant to ask her to turn off her cell phone. Mm. Because uh, we're preparing for takeoff. There you go. She was intoxicated and upset yep. and re- reacted poorly. Oh, uh, is that what you do? It's, it's, it's a sad dance at work, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm upset. Very, I know what I'll do. Very slow ass clapping. Okay. <laughs> and she said, went on to say, Is record- that the cheeks? Yeah. <laughs> sad. Sad. Tariq. Record all you fucking want. The un- unidentified woman shouts before turning around and exposing her backside, twerking for several seconds and hailing a, s- a stream of... Oh, okay. <laughs> Alcohol. A uh, stream of... Abuse. <laughs> racist insult in an older woman. Okay. Uh, you can imagine what's coming out of her yeah, lovely twerk. mouth. Oh, there's a video here as well. <laughs> oh, Excellent. cool. Can we hear the slaps? Um, the twerk slap? There she no, there's no sound on this one. But you damn can, it, sound, yeah, sounds can, usually the way. Sound, oh God, it's it's like literally one, two, three, four, five, five wobbles. Ugh. But so it's not really I like don't find it sexy. Nah. Is it supposed to be? Yeah, is very, it a cultural thing? It's uh, very very wriggly. It's, it's, it's that chewing gum. It's walk. embarrassing. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it stop is. It. Stop it. Stop! Stop that! That's not, that's, stop that! Stop it's like uh, it's like when you you kick one dog off the back of another dog, you know? When, <laughs> when you got gas saver. Yes, I know all it's about like, that. It's like it's like um, look, I've learned I've learned to tolerate it when there's no guests around. But when there are guests around, yeah, yeah, get off, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Have out of no one's home. But... <laughs> uh, uh, what have, what else have we got? 
Oh, Oregon man arrested with drugs. Notebook with business plans for selling drugs. Yeah, see. Stop writing shit down. Yeah, see, it's the paper trail. It's the hair in the car again. Hmm. All over again. You know what I mean? It's like you're leaving evidence behind. Don't have it like Jeffrey Epstein. <clears throat> Don't have a black book. No. With everybody's Why is there a flight it? log? Yeah. No flight logs. No. Get rid of it. Who are you, who are you showing that log to later? I don't know. Mm. Um, I love these guys. This um, a South Sacramento homeowner's ring doorbell captured the moment where a man walks up and tries to steal the ring security camera. <laughs> <laughs> and there's his mug. Clear as day. Like, put a mask on. Why it's, would you want to steal that? It's 2021. You're allowed to walk around with a mask on. Yeah, you're allowed no, to be a no, mask. you must. Silent. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't know. There's, there's, <laughs> there's a bit of work in that. Isn't there, isn't there some kind of um, link in it? Is it its own device, the front door? Like it just links to your phone. So if you stole it, is he going to be able to use that? It's, no, well, it's, or is he going to turn it on at his, his house and it's going to like come onto your phone? It's connected to your, your, your wireless. Your, um, what do you call that shit? Your, your internet. Your, your internet. So if he turned it on at his uh, secret hideout let, that robbers can, have. I don't think he can do it. No? I don't think he can activate it. So it's the same as stealing a phone. Like, what's the point? Here? Yeah, there's no point. Oh, you can steal for its components. Yeah, yeah. fresh screen and whatnot. Yeah, okay. You know, yeah, right. Maybe right. the cover, but as soon mm. as you turn it on, they're going to track you. Yeah, find my phone. Yeah, smash that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what's this it's a hell of a thing to steal. What's this one? It's always in Florida. What's up with that? Entire church stolen when trailer is towed away. So what do what? you reckon? There's a, uh, what, a church on the back of a fucking... Oh, it's the um, it's the entire contents of the church. So you've got your Bibles, you've got your holy hosts, you've got, you've your, got tabernacle. your tabernacle. You've got your altar. You've got your uh, Vaseline. You've got your altar boys. <laughs> <laughs> got your robes. Yes. You've you got, got your incense. Sept- scepters, candles. You've got your uh, stations of the cross. Pews. You've got your uh, the dipping you, when you're coming. You, you dip uh, you got your, holy you got water. Your altar bells. Did you do altar the bells? bells. Got to get yeah. your bells. Yep. Um, you've got. What else you got? I think there, you've there, got. The church. I mean, you got it? your cross, your, your statue yeah, of Jesus. Yeah, you got the crosses. Crosses akimbo. You got your twelve stations of the cross, yes. which is um, you know, the most violent thing you can see as a child. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's a pretty, lot of whipping. Yeah, it's the only, and it's the only form of entertainment at a church, other than the mass itself, is the stations of the cross stuck mm. up around the walls. That's it. Yeah, I like it. I can look at them in order. But if you look at them in backwards order, um, you know, the Romans pretty much freed Jesus, <laughs> didn't they? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, that's great. I love it. Yeah. It's all perspective, isn't it? It is. And it time's is. not a, a straight line. Well, it's... they're not numbered. No. You, oh, you no, suspect... it was Roman, your Roman numerals as oh, well, yeah, which okay. is highly inappropriate. On stus. Why, why, why are they putting the Roman numerals for the stations of the cross when they the Romans killed Jesus? I I'd think you'd be using just your standard one, two, three. Okay. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see X you're saying. And I's and V's. Yeah, it's, it's too much of a shout out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do it in style. These Romans. Did they have fonts back then, or was it all just like an X is an X? Or did you have to have the you know like when you type an X? Uh, sometimes it's got those little divots oh, yeah. above, above the um, above the letters. Little roof over there. Yeah, little little things. Yeah, that's a font. So was it Roman times? <laughs> yeah, was Roman, the font <laughs> Roman times. <laughs> yeah, very good. You've done it again. Okay. <laughs> uh, woman cuffed, booked for not paying library fines. What's the world coming? Get to her. You? Yeah. Get her. I, I heard. I heard a little rumor that um, you don't get uh, fined anymore. So it's basically just a free bookshop. You can just go in there and, and then take never a come back. Yeah, and just never come back. Yeah. Do you want to get all the good a, books in one hit, though? Well, they do DVDs and CDs and all oh, kinds of stuff okay. there as well. Well, that's good street value. Yeah. Why I, had a, don't you, I had a friend that would, would why don't borrow you, from the library. Here's, here's, a, here's a pitch. Mm. I'm homeless. I need some money. Mm. I need it fast. Mm. Go into the library. Yeah. Borrow 40 CDs. Here's what you're going to do cuts. first. <laughs> Steal a suit. Steal a suit. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, get Most a, homeless get, dudes get a down and out in Beverly Hills. He had a suit on. He did. 
You could get you could get like a monocle, and you you really look dress up to be like you look like a book reader. Like you look like you just robbed the bank. <laughs> 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 so then, so then you get the you get the books, you get everything in your in your trolley, mm. um, and then you wheel out of the library. The street value of a a, a CD. Dumb, yeah, okay. Street value of a uh, uh, encyclopedia. Mm, Britannica. Mm. <laughs> Got to get that good stuff, the original Britannica. Just go borrow the whole Britannica mm. and go and sell it door to door as a homeless man. Yeah. People expect it. You know, and like a, a um, encyclopedia guy to come at the door. People expect that. They do. Yeah. In 2021 with the internet and all the information in the world at, yes. the, at your fingertips, yes. you're still going to get a book. It's still, it's still printed in 1964. I wonder if they kept, like, if they were like the last ones going, we're not. No, we're not converting it to the internet. You know how people are like, we don't want to buy mobile phones, yeah. and they just steadfast. Do you think that they they were even still trying to go door to door for a while there? Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, you'd you'd have those um, uh, what, what's the Amway? Uh yeah, yep, yeah. Avon, Avon calling, yep. Um, they were still going right into the internet days. They were, weren't they? And now it's all online. Yeah, and Tupperware is like a. They they still do Tupperware parties. Oh man, you you have no idea how much Tupperware I have. Okay, from those parties. Okay. Well, we don't actually go to the parties. You know what they should start doing? Mm. Clothing, and call it Tupperware. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works. I'll just keep coming up with them. In there. <laughs> as long as I get a little bit of acknowledgement for my good ideas. Oh, yeah. this, this, is, this isn't a funny one. Man used fridge to try to smuggle ten Vietnamese nationals. Is, is jailed. Oh, put him away. Yeah, we got him. No good. Ah, oh, see this guy. Police looking for Star Wars bank robber. This is exactly what we're talking about. Okay. This guy's wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. Ah, uh, you it's, idiot! It's the only thing you can see, though. That's the you don't even thing. look at his face. Nah. You're looking at the t-shirt. No, nah, he looks like old Greg. <laughs> he actually. does. Oh, I'm old Greg. I'm old Greg. Um, Star Wars t-shirt. When he's really like, maybe that's his double take. I'm really a Star Trek. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's a Trekkie, and he's trying to discredit. Yeah, he's like there's the double banger, but like at least put a Batman mask on. Dude, you know what I'm saying? Some, he's he's got sunglasses on his forehead. Yep. I would suggest maybe wearing them to cover your eyes. For, yeah. As a starter, as is uh, just for starters for the sky. One on one, but then he's he can't see properly, so he can't um mm. he can't focus in on robbing the bank with his eyes all tinted. <laughs> The man robbed a U.S. bank location about 4 p.m. in the 3,100 block. Peak hour. Peak hour. Of, yep. Yeah. Uh, he, he told a teller he had a gun and was given an undisclosed amount of cash before fleeing the scene on foot. Was it a laser gun? <laughs> Star Wars gun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> um, and then there's an update March 18th, uh, 2019. Jesus. Yeah, still, really we got it. Uh, Did we get him? Suspect in March 4th of the Robert Bar Blank has safely been, he's been arrested. He's, we got him. So you would imagine he's in jail now. They got him at the sci fi con. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and you know what? As well, I look at it, he's wearing a. Um, Who's the guy? Gene Simmons. You know, he's got he's got his man bun, but yeah. it's really high, so it's all, almost like an I Dream a Genie one. Okay, who's Is there the someone guy? in Star Wars that does that? Does oh, he wear his um, high? Joe John Joe John Jin. Ku Jong Hill. All right. I hate Star Wars. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Well, I've just had it up to me tits, tits, fucking pussy and, spot, man. Yeah. And you're saying to me, gotta watch Mandalorian season two, mate. Oh, so it doesn't get good. What you said is until season two, and then it really picks up towards the last four episodes of season two. Yeah. That's is that what it that's is. Pretty fair assessment. Yeah. I, I don't want to lie to you because people out there have seen it. So and they'll know. If and you're they'll lying. know if I'm lying. So yeah. <laughs> Yep, yep. Mm. But uh, give it a good squidge. All right. I'll give well, it a I'm squidge. not doing anything. Yeah, so exactly. So I might as well. Get up to par with the bloody. Uh, might as well. Yeah. I just don't like backing Disney. Yeah. It seems like they don't need any of my help or money. No, they need your peepers. Mm. And they need you with your stupid podcast. They need yeah, your to podcast to Move your mouth around. Yeah. 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 That's Disney, Mandalorian. This, 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 Young really Yoda. Did. Baby they did good things for bloody Mickey Mouse. Why wouldn't they um, 
give the same treatment to uh, so uh, that, Yoda. That Yoda, right? <laughs> yeah. So is he going to stay that size the whole time? Yeah, he's that's he's baby Yoda. He's dead. A oh, baby Yoda. Yeah. No, he's going to get he's going to get probably the Yoda height. Yeah, but and his name's not Baby Yoda. He's not Baby Yoda. It's not Yoda as a baby. No, he's he's a Yoda. Oh, the the he's race is Yoda. the race, but they don't know what the race is, and, and there's there's not many of them. Right. Even though in in the first Star Wars there was another one of the Yoda dudes on the Jedi Council. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 So 12, 12 members of the Jedi Council, uh, ironically representing oh, the... Nerd. Uh, ironically representing the um, star signs. Oh, right. Yeah, right. Aquarius. Yeah, and they're all... Sagittarius. They're all the overseers looking over the big map in the big Jedi Council, of the uh, um, flat earth. Of the 12... Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, right. Have a look at it. Yeah. <sighs> No. <laughs> <laughs> are, we doing, are we doing any more of these or? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. All right. Let's see. It's uh, the the one. last half of this show is a little bit um, lackadaisy. You know, we just wanted to um, go, go. brush off the cobwebs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, what it's like yeah, been locked down for two years and uh, two years is it? It's about that. <laughs> yeah, right. It's getting pretty. You know, I've, it's almost December. I could have lasted till next December. Oh, well, you're going to have to. Well, tr- tr- fucking try me. Oh, we had Freedom Day, though, Tim. Oh, we're free, we so are I can't free. complain. No. So if I go to a protest now, mm. it's can I, I can't hold their no more, no lockdowns sign. I've got to go no more lockdowns. Yes. Yeah. No more lockdowns in the future, foreseeable future. Okay, yeah. So. Okay. Well, I just, I just want to, I just, no, I just like the, um, as you go through time, you sort of forget all the shit as it happened. You forget why you're so angry. Yeah, so if you're like, fuck, man, I just really pissed off about something from March last year. People go, get over it. Yeah. You're still on about that. Yeah, yeah, when I lost my business and- you're still uh, on about that. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. We, when my wife left me- and Oh, come I, on, I, I, could, I couldn't go to my mother's funeral. And, oh. And then I- It's over, though. Just it's get over it. We've, well, got to, we've got to 98% uptake. It is what it is, Tim. I know. I know. I'm living it every day. <laughs> That's mind control. That is saying. It? That That's saying is... That's mind control. <laughs> <laughs> There's a jazz album in that. For sure. You want to put <laughs> a beat it? on? You nope. Wanna, nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. What page? What page should I... Go page um, 69. Okay. You can have page seven. <laughs> okay. Good. A creepy man caught on... Oh, hit, no, that's, we've done that one years ago. Really? Creepy man caught on video licking doorbell. Yep, yep. We've heard about him. Classic. Getting Classic standard. On. Lots of... Is this... Are you in the doorbell section? <laughs> <laughs> well, every, this is the thing. Like, these cameras are... are uh, they're it, watching no, or, the, or the, the um, crimes come in threes. Mm. Um, just like the three rules of breathing. Yeah. What are the three <laughs> rules of breathing, Tim? <laughs> um, in, yeah. hold... Out, Good. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I say in my mind every time I breathe. Yeah, because you know, like, it's not something you have to think about breathing, isn't it? Not really. It just oh, happens shit, naturally. Stop. You've I been should... breathing all day without thinking, thinking about, about it. In in hold out, mm. but it's um. You know, there must be there must be some correlation between what I was saying and the three crimes. The the, there there must again. be another doorbell crime in well, there. I've, there was heaps of them. Well, we I had just decided not to do them because it was just. Oh, what's this guy doing? Looks like he's gonna Lick try to take a shit in an ATM. Oh, uh, we haven't had a um, we haven't had a phantom pool for a while. That's true. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's not exactly phantom if he gets caught doing it. No, look, there's no story t- attached to it. It's just a vid. It's just the bizarre surveillance camera picture. Oh shit! And it's uh, what the heck is going on here? Anyone? Anyone? And Who? it's a, uh, it's a guy in his um, in his uh, grandpa whitey tidy jockers. Yeah. And he's pulled down his pants. Yep. Uh, he's adjusting his uh, tidy whities. Yeah. And I think, Kiss, look at this clown. I think he might be either taking the. I think he's, he's got. I think he's going to back up, and shit. It looks like in he's that. at the ATM, and he's is it is this paused or is he? That's just the photo. Oh, it's just the photo. And we don't know what. If I zoom in on that photo, it looks like there's there's shit squidging out. He's he's. <laughs> it's um, a turtle head. Yeah, poking out. I think, I think he's uh I think he's out to lunch he's that guy. Breaching. 
<laughs> <laughs> He's brimming. <laughs> oh, it hits ya. I know. I know. I know. I, I um. Whenever I used to go um, record hunting, mm. as soon as you get to the bloody rack, you need to go for a piss. Right. All right. There's no toilet. Is, is it nervous? Shop. Is it a know. nervous piss, Tim? I'm excited. But we get a bad. I always get disappointed when it's not twenty cents or under. Well, I'm looking at this. Uh, Mint Kandesh. Yeah. U2. Not that I'm a big U2 fan or a U2 fan. Uh, it's a rattle and hum. Rattle and hum. For a, for a measly 99 cents. Yeah. And I and I guarantee you, I didn't pay 99 cents for that. Oh, you reckon you stole it? Or? No, no. I reckon it just like... I reckon I reckon the cover. Look. The cover was 99 cents. Ah. And that's how it comes off with this, the, the clear slip. But uh, I looked it up. And um, this this record intact as is mild uh, mild use but good loving um, at least seventy five dollars. Mm. Yeah, it's not it's not quite mint, is it? It's got it's not uh, frayed on the corners here, Tim. It's got a little bit of uh, yeah, uh, right. A little bit of sun damage to yeah, it. Yeah, okay. No, no the, I'd say just the edges. The from... actual vinyl itself is pretty clean. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so not too many you'll find. Or... No, well, there's a never, cat hair on it. Never I don't know been how the cat paid. hair got on. <laughs> <laughs> crime. See, you can never fucking get rid of all the hairs. You can't do it. Look, you're being watched yeah. the whole time. Yeah. So just know that. Mm. Before you, because we used to go nick knocking as kids or stealing garden gnomes. Oh, you can't, do that, can't do that anymore. Nah. You're going to get busted. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to get busted on the approach. Mm. That all we had to worry about was um, sensor lights. Sensor lights. Mm. That's it. Yeah. And you'd figure out, nah, that's just a sensor. There's no way that someone up at two o'clock guarding their garden gnome. Yeah, I'm going to take a shit on this windscreen. (laughs) (laughs) Or whatever kids do. Whatever they're doing these days. Whatever kids do these days. Who knows? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, they're doing nothing. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. That's a TikTok video, though. That'll go viral, wouldn't it? Um, (laughs) Or does that get put into the Phantom Pua category? If, if it's a gag, if, my if ring, it's a real gag. If my ring security camera catches a, a kid shitting on a windscreen, yeah, and then what? You go, oh, Phantom Pua. No, 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 no. That's that's um, local prankster, <laughs> isn't it? No, I think I think. Is that you, a feel good story? If you find a human turd on your windscreen, immediately I would think that's come from. What a, have I done? That's come from a plane. <laughs> oh well, yeah. Oh okay. That, that's that's not a tree. Of, you're you're all been, the way up. That's been one of those. Times where they've let the uh, the septic tank out accidentally oh, it's and blue, um, blue, water. blue water, blue ice, blue ice, blue, blue ice. ice. Beware when you're on a plane if they serve you a drink with blue ice yeah. in it. But then you're right. You do you do go outside and you go, who? What, I've got an enemy now. This is this this, this is terrible serious. for me. But you know you've just done left a whole bunch of DNA. <laughs> yeah, but are you gonna like take a sample of that? No, you're gonna hit it with a hose. True. <laughs> at best, at best, <laughs> high pressure. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. No, no, we're not hearing about pranks and gags and stuff. And then, and then, there's no. It's curfew, Tim. No, no, no. But there's no value in a gag these days unless you can film it, get mm. some mileage, get some clicks, get some ads, and then get you're just one of these jerks on the uh, clumsy crew. And then it just goes busted. into the whole. Then it goes into the whole thing. Mm. And and like you never saw, you never saw pranks happening on funny same videos either. Going no. back before the internet, um, people weren't sending in like, oh, no, no time pranksters. I scared it's, somebody, it's more scared like, shit out of somebody, and they threw the birthday cake, and somebody shit themselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this chain. Someone reaction. got hit in the balls. It was the perfect storm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah there's, uh, there's no value in gaggery. I might, I might, I might sit here on YouTube and watch a couple of those. Oh, yeah. It's so good. It's so good. Like when they go to blow the birthday cake out. And somebody pops a balloon right behind them. It's just like, Wah! and then they, um, and then they get scared, launch forward, and ca- catch their hair <laughs> on fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah, happy Burns Day. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's that Pepsi ad all over again. I'm sure I could have, could have got some clicks that time that Christmas that I waved the um the the paper crown mm. over the candle. Oy, oy, yeah, and it caught fire and went boom. <laughs> Was, you almost ruined Christmas forever. Yeah, it burnt me hand. Yeah, yeah I yeah. wasn't very yeah. happy about it. I didn't. What do you do? Drop C- it. Christmas. Burn down the house. Tell you hold one, it. <laughs> scorch the fingers. Tell you one thing I've learned about Christmas. It's very flammable. 
<laughs> it is, isn't it? Everything around is flammable. It is. From the toys to the clothes. To the lights. <laughs> to the Christmas tree. It <laughs> yeah. is a tinderbox. To the heat generated by the old um, we really Transformers. T- we really took on the American style, you know, winter winter sort of summer. Mm. Uh, winter uh, Christmas. Mm. And I think um, Christmas tree... Inside and during winter, it's not as likely to catch on fire. I think in Australia, th- where it's very dry and very hot around Christmas, and everything's sprayed with fake snow, mm. and and it's stinking hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you, just, you didn't Doesn't check, make much sense. You didn't check the fairy lights this year as well as you should have, and inevitably, you ruined Christmas when you burned <laughs> the house down and killed the family. Oh, when you set it all up and you turned the lights on last, and they were embedded. <laughs> no, they just don't turn on. Mm. So you lost the whole effect. So you're saying always test your fairy lights before oh, you... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Are we starting to get into Christmas talk already? No. Oh, yeah. Well, this is this is the thing about Christmas this time. We're not having it. Well, how am I going to get into shops? You know? Yeah. Are we allowed to go shopping? Are mm-hmm. we allowed to do this? Are we allowed to do that? Uh, all online shopping. If I ordered something online now, mm. it's coming in March. Mm. One of the things we we're going to order for Audrey mm. said, date of arrival... March 28th. <laughs> it was like... 2022. Ah, yeah. I think the kids might be getting um, a Rattle and Hum album. <laughs> I think they might be getting... Um, <laughs> some Star Wars paraphernalia yeah, for yeah, my top shelf. Yeah. Yep. I need... Um, I, I did get asked to be um, one of our friend's kids' sponsors for his confirmation. Oh, really? Yeah. Who's that? That's uh, young Benji. Okay. Oh, yeah, uh, nice Benji one. Benji Yeah, right. Good yeah. one. Did you uh, accept... Of course I did. Or just say, I can't step in no, 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 step no, into no, that no, building. No, 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 no. I'm the only one qualified mm. for that job. Mm. Really. That's why he requested me. Oh, really? Yeah. So, what do you get? What do you get? <laughs> um, what do you get? Uh, what's what's a confirmation? Name? Nah, Prezi. What do you oh, get? Um, rosary beads. Yeah. Uh, a cross. Yeah. Uh, 50 bucks? <laughs> yeah, now you're talking. Get, get, get yourself a get you know get get an upgrade. Get a Jesus bobblehead. Nah, see see the year the 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 child before mm. I went all out. We went to the, we got invited to the confirmation. Just, just you know like the, the thing that we got invited to. We went, yeah, all right, yeah, we'll come along to that. Mm. And so and then we went out for a lunch. Mm. Got invited to lunch afterwards, which is good, right? And so well, what did you have? Don't answer that question. Polish food. It was a Polish Polish restaurant, Good. and I made um, the young Tacker a, um, a Jesus Christ action figure <laughs> in a bubble on a on a proper thing. It was like a proper thing, man. It was fucking unreal. This thing with the cross and everything. Like, no, what, and what it was had his... like sayings, you know, "Thy will be done," you know, when <laughs> that, that kind of thing. You know, what, did it come with and the then Bible? on the back it had play sets, different things you could get. You could get the altar and tabernacle play, um, <laughs> church play set. Um, the the birth of Jesus, that yeah. nativity scene, so classic look, stand, all that. I can hear the music. I can hear the music coming up. He's, they're wrapping us up, but they are um, us up. I, I was thinking of maybe doing something like that, something cool, something mm. fun. You know, nice. Yeah, do so, um, Jesus and Mary's chain. Ah, Jesus Ro- and Mary's chain. Yeah, rosary on vinyl. Yeah, <laughs> rosary beads. Anyway, look. Yeah, we'll get to that later. We'll maybe maybe you can tell me off air what I should buy. But um, good luck finding a, a, a cross shop open these these times. <laughs> it's called a church. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what you call those things? All anyway. Right. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we're back. Um, we should be back next week at some stage as well. I reckon. Yeah, we're getting yeah, very we're close to 300. So oh, we're, it's which, which we have prepared the episode. So yeah. it is good. It is good. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Thanks for coming. I'm Tim Taco. I'm Jez Bosch. Goodbye. <laughs> They duck, they climb, they go through two at a time. Yo, jump in the turnstile, jump the turnstile. Jump the, the turnstile. Leap over the turnstile. Hop over the turnstile. I had to take me. It was like a ninja. Jump in the turnstile. And it's no small thing. People have to jump the turnstile. I definitely didn't jump the turnstile. Jump in the turnstile. I definitely would do it once, twice, I would do it over again. Whenever I believe I have to do it, I do it, I get away because and there was no one there, so I figured it'd be. Easy to jump the I've jumped some fairs in my day. I've definitely jumped the turnstile a few times. Jump it. Turnstile instead of just paying a $2.25. That little technique, I pull the turnstile back. Like that, boom, boom. My upper body's not moving. My leg. Check.
got the turnstile. We got the turnstile. The turnstile. We are the anti-bacterial wipes. This don't even look sanitary.